straight to breaking news first at noon and a deadly shooting unfolding at Orlando Regional Medical Center. I'm Bridget Ellison. Glad you're with us. I'm Justin Warmuth. Now, Orlando police say a man claimed to have had a gun and was threatening to shoot officers. The entire incident prompting a lockdown at the hospital. News 6 has team coverage for you this noon, starting with Vanessa Ariza live outside ORMC. So are police saying why that man was there in the first place, Vanessa? Well, Justin, according to Chief Mina, who held a press conference just a few hours ago, he said that that man was picked up downtown due to a medical condition. Now, what that medical condition is, that's still not being said, or where exactly this man was picked up, whether it was at his residence or at an establishment downtown. We're still working to get those answers. But Chief Mina did say that he seemed to appear calm when he was en route here to the hospital, and almost for an hour, it actually took about an hour until that man and started making those threats. And when that happened, staff alerted police. This is the scene that was a result of that. The FBI was also here, Chief Mina, saying that they were close by. And because this involved the hospital, they also wanted to be present. Now, the man who police have yet to identify at this point was near a room where other patients were. A negotiator was brought in. But because of the patient's close proximity and their need, Chief Mina said they had to take that into consideration and the time frame they were dealing with. The man also said he was a suspect in some homicides. Police are working to find out if there's any validity behind that and as to what cases. That gentleman also told police he had a gun and how he was going to end it right here. All during the, the negotiation, he was making movements consistent with uh, having a firearm and at times becoming aggressive and then at some point uh, made moves very consistent with retrieving a firearm from within his waistband. And the hospital here, ORMC, is back at normal operating uh, operations, back to normal here. Within the past 10 minutes, two crime scene units left as well as the caution tape was taken down and police officers left the scene here. Now, those three death, or excuse me, those three police officers who are involved, they are on paid administrative leave. That is the standard when the FDLE is investigating and it is an officer-involved shooting. The hospital representative here, they said they are not going to hold a press conference but that at some point in time today, they will be releasing a statement. This marks the sixth officer-involved shooting the FDLE is investigating for this year. Justin? Vanessa, rise alive for us. Thank you, Vanessa. Our team coverage continues now with the scare that unfolded outside the hospital. News 6 reporter Sashel Saunders spoke with patients who wanted answers about what was happening inside. Those emergency room doors were shut down for hours this morning. People turned away while others were inside hiding, listening to that man as he said he had a gun. Something about he had a gun. Mom Sandy and her sick daughter Alexis first heard the whispers about a man inside ER with a gun. They talked about the gun and I got kind of scared. Like, okay, what's going to happen now? And then orders to hide. They were doors down, stayed behind a wall as police, doctors and nurses cleared hallways. Nobody can walk into the hallways. They're telling everybody, go, go back or close this door. Nobody can come. The women could barely hear the threats the man was making as they waited inside, but they could clearly hear an officer pleading with the man to surrender. We just kept uh, hearing her say, you know, let us see uh, your hands. You know, we need to see your hands. And then a couple hours later, the women were released. Moments before, police say they were forced to shoot. The man died in the hospital. The hospital is open as normal today. Despite those ongoing investigations, people can use the emergency room for the rest of the day as well as the regular hospital. Reporting at ORMC, Sashel Saunders, News 6.